There's a, a philosopher at Oxford, Nick Bostrom. <clears throat> the argument is called the simulation argument, and he argues that uh, we are all very likely not to not living in a real universe, but living in a simulated universe. Uh, and we are being simulated on the hard drives of computers of the future. Uh, now he gets there with a few simple steps. You, uh, you simply have to acknowledge that consciousness is, at bottom, the result of information processing at the level of the brain. And there's nothing magical about brains. It could be information processing in a computer of, uh, of the future. Uh, most scientists think that think that's true. They don't think there's anything magical about the wet stuff in our heads, uh, and the consciousness is at some point uh, going to be instantiated in computers. Uh, then you simply have to grant that humans of the future will run simulations of the past in the way that we run simulations, uh, you know, Sims games, and. Um, and then there's just one short move, that, that simulated universes, by, almost by definition, will outnumber real universes. And therefore, we are a lot more likely to be among the simulated ancestors than the real ancestors. Now again, this is, this, everyone acknowledges it seems a little crazy, but, there's, but the assumptions that you, have to, you take, take on board are not, not so weak. take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes.
course, would have had a conscious moment in, in, in its very birth, in that our consciousness may be related to that initial conscious moment. I think it's a computer. Well, that wouldn't... Uh, computers are designed by people. I no, mean, no, this is a self-designing computer. Uh -huh. Timeless. Timeless. Well, that's a contradiction in terms. Why is it time? What's contradictory about it? A, a computer has to function. It takes Oh, time. no, this is a special computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it has to be logically coherent. Oh, it's logically coherent? Yes, you have to be logically coherent. Oh, no, coherent. this and, computer and besides, is amazing. No, it, it, besides, it, it would have to be, as I said, a personal being. No. In, a computer is a physical Not this computer. Object. Oh, well, then, no. Okay, see, what you're doing is you're actually, what you're calling a computer is really God. Uh, Ironically, this is not far from the truth. This can be what? Be real?